Hello friends and welcome back to Far Sky with your host Rongo the Bold. We uh, spent a fairly uneventful night hidden, hiding like a little baby girl in our little base here. Um, sharks were out, it was kind of scary. Um, so now we're going to just do some quick little adventuring. Um, I know that down ahead of us here I saw thought I saw some more of those um, parts. So we're going to kind of look over here and just kind of look. Now you'll see in the very center of the screen there's a little round dot and there's um, six um, little meters around it. And those meters indicate uh, how many these little jump boosts I've got. Oh look! Alright, this is one of the hidden things in the game. What are we going to find? What are we going to find? Piece of the submarine! Yay! One of nine! Alright, so we are on the way. So each one of these little rings you can see on the map is a piece of a submarine. So these are all pretty much close together. That's pretty nice. Now the, the idea is once you get all nine pieces, you, you can leave. You can be done with the game. Uh, it's up to you then to decide how long you want to play. That shark, you just stay over there. Okay, this is coal. I'm going to go ahead and mine some of this coal. So we have cooking supplies. Look up every once in a while. Look for sharks. Got to keep an eye on our oxygen meter. Okay. We really need to find copper very soon. All right, we're at half oxygen. I got. We got to go back. Okay, so where is our base? Is directly in front of us. Okay. You do see me go a little faster with the uh, kind of jet boost. Okay, here we go. There. Let our uh, boost build back up. It's okay, buddy. You're good. You're good. You're good. See? See? I got you back in hunt. You didn't die. Ah. Boy, she was worried about me. Okay, so what did we get? We got coal, which we can put into our furnace, our cooker. Uh, put our coal in here. So it just stays in there and it only uses one piece each time you cook a, cook a thing. So let's go ahead and cook this fish up. Uh, this fish needs it needs to be cookified. So let's cook that. Alright, so we got that'll help out. Whoops, that'll help out quite a bit. Quick eat that. Mmm, yummy. Okay, hunger's still at 45%, so that's not good. Okay, we can harvest our potatoes. Now we also need. I don't know what that. Let me turn the music down just a little bit in case that's bothering you guys. Okay. Now, uh, I'd like to build a few more of these planters. Um, what do the planters require? Planters require. iron and dirt and I wish I actually I wish you could actually kind of hover and see what the things were I'm pretty sure that's dirt and I don't think I've got any dirt yet nope all right let's go ahead and cook our potatoes up just so we have those ready to go when we get hungrier. Okay, we have to find copper. Um, zooming out. Maybe we can go grab some more of this. Grab some more of this uh, dirt so we can build some more. This is also a chest. Let's see if we can find this chest. So it's kind of right in front of us up here. All right. 
These chests have uh, miscellaneous supplies in them. Um, kind of just wait and see what we get. Carrot seed? Uh, okay, that's cool. We can grow carrots now. Some glass for building things. And an energy sphere. Okay. So energy spheres can be used to make some automated defenses. Um, and it's kind of cool stuff like that. So we'll go ahead. And also uh, shocking spears later on. All right, let's get uh, up here and get some of this dirt. Maybe we can put a few more planters in that hammerhead. Just stay over there, Mr. Hammerhead. Don't come and kill me. Now, they're attracted to, to blood, so if you kill a fish, um, that's when you have a chance of getting a shark to come visit. Alright, let's pull this dirt. And this way we can build a few more of the planter boxes, plant the carrots, plant some more potatoes, make sure we have enough food kind of coming regularly so that we uh, don't have to rely upon fish, because I don't want to get too much blood in the water. Okay, we're on an even number. Let's do 36 of these because you need four per. Okay, let's also get some more kelp. I know you're hungry, buddy. Okay, getting fertilizer. Yeah, a pot of dolphins going by. Okay, the little guy's getting really hungry. Okay, let's head back to our base. Alright, we should check that extractor out as well and see how much... how much iron it's picked up for us. Okay, oh yeah, it's gotten a lot. Okay, you keep working there, buddy. And, uh, okay. Hunger. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab, we have some potatoes in here. Let's go ahead and grab those. And let's eat. Okay, now our hunger is back to zero, so we're in good shape. And let's build a few more planter boxes. Okay those there put this oops it just swaps items so all right let's put uh, more planter boxes in oh I forgot to oh big mistake oh no I forgot to plant um, some of the carrot uh, potatoes back Oh, epic fail. I don't think you can plant a cooked potato. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was a huge, huge mistake. Okay. So that carrot seed is planted. You see that tiny little green thing in the box. Oh, man. I just, I just screwed up big time. Well... We'll uh, have to see if we can recover from this uh, epic boneheaded move I made. All right, let's pull this rocks and stuff away. Energy sphere away. Okay, we've got three more potatoes. Um, we're going to have to kill some fish as well. We can't just be vegetarians. <sighs> All right, we've got to find copper. Um... Okay, so what I'm going to look for is copper is going to be at a lower level probably, uh, a little farther down. So let's head towards that upper right-hand corner uh, ship part and see if we can spot some copper along the way. Until we get copper, we're just, we're kind of screwed. Still just iron. Be careful, pressure's really high down there. Okay. So we gotta watch our depth here. We're, we can go at max 180. 
Oh, we can't go down there. Okay, so that is deeper than we can go. Yeah, see, it just drops off. That's creepy. Now, the critters do change as you go deeper and deeper in the ocean. Um, there are different monsters uh, or enemies to fight. Uh, not uh, enemies, but yeah, different creatures. And each one has got different abilities. Like there's electric rays, and the worst are the uh, giant uh, squids, and they're down there, the kraken, um, and they guard a precious material that you need in order to. Okay, here we go. Nope. I like how the the little um, critters hide when you get close to them, just like in the real ocean. Oh, come on. we got to find some copper. Just need a little bit of copper so we can go deeper. Oh, man. This is getting a little... Okay, we got to get back to our base now. So you can see it's kind of... A, it's, it's an interesting kind of game. It's not just your normal crafting... You know, survival crafting game. It's a little different. And the oxygen really helps out I think it's a little bit like space engineers in that manner that you've got to constantly ma manage your, your oxygen levels okay let's head over this way and see if we can find any copper down here so I gotta basically go deep enough to find copper but not too deep that uh, it's not copper is it it is copper okay uh, so you gotta you can basically you gotta go deeper to find copper and it's usually just below, I mean, just right near your max depth. All right, we're just going to fill up as much as we can here. We'll get to about half of our oxygen. Then we'll head back. We'll be able to make um, a better helmet, make a better uh, oxygen tank, and maybe make some armor as well. And I think we should be able to make a spear gun. All depends on just how much copper I'm able to scavenge here. Once we get the spear gun, then I'm less worried about the sharks because we can take out the we can take out the shark pretty easily. They've got a very predictable um, AI attack path, so it's actually not too hard to, to fight those guys. I'm always kind of listening to the background. They make a, a certain noise when they kind of rush at you. Oh, we're doing good. Doing good. Got a lot of copper here. Okay. We got a full stack of copper. Beautiful. Alright. Okay. Half. And our base is just to our left. Up there. Oh, that's really close. Okay. Just a matter of finding it. It is, it is nightfall now, so I'm going to go ahead and copy in the base. We'll work on our stuff, and then I'm going to go ahead and end the episode, and we'll start again um, on the next phase. So let's go in here. We're going to make... Uh, so we need to get some iron in our inventory. Oh, we got iron. Why is it not letting me... Why is it not let me craft that? Oh, copper. Is that not... Is that the wrong material? It's not. It's copper and something else. Oh, no. Ah, uh, okay. I gotta remember... I gotta remember how to find that stuff. <laughs> All right, so, but in the meantime, we can make copper spears. Oh, man, what was that? We can make a large chest. Let me make a large chest so we have more space to, to store stuff. I'm feeling like a complete noob right now. I've obviously missed something. Okay, let's put all this copper and iron in here. Got plenty of that. 
this glass we don't need to haul around with us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat this. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. We'll wait out the night. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do in here while I'm waiting for uh, the night to tech to clear off. It gets a little dull. So uh, if you like this, let me know. Uh, it's definitely something a little different than my usual zombies. And uh, I just want to, you know, want to reach out and not do the same thing all the time to see if you guys still like that or not. So let me know in the comments if you like it. Uh, click that like button and uh, leave a comment. I've said it like 17 times, so I need to go ahead and end it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.